And every 42 seconds, imagine how, how much from alcohol use. However, no one really dies from marijuana use. 37 for marijuana use. Health-related cost for alcohol consumers is eight times greater. And smoke legally, of course. Two guys in the pot-friendly state of Colorado participated in a little test. Who's a better driver? Someone who's drunk or someone who's high? This guy, Brian, loaded up on whiskey and got in a driving simulator. He sucked. This guy, Justin, who is prescribed the green, lit up, then took a stab at the simulator. He hasn't shown any degree of uh, impairment that I could notice. Deter do the best thing for her. You see, Brian Wilson's daughter, Vivian, was dying. Her brain continuously locked in seizures, and nothing had worked. The Wilsons were now pinning their hopes on medical marijuana. They'd read about marijuana on the internet, and they saw stories about it saving lives. Like little Charlotte Figgy, whose story was told in our first documentary, Weed. I remember I was actually at the gym on the treadmill and I saw a preview. I was watching the TV. I was so excited because I knew that everything was going to change at that moment. They hoped marijuana would rescue Vivian from the virtual prison she lives in. Where bright lights, loud sounds and patterns can all induce a seizure. That's why she wears that patch on her eye. Like I say, if he could be blindfolded, she'd be seizure-free because <laughs> it's everything. It's all visual stimuli. She can't leave the house. Vivian, do you know this book? Vivian and I first played together in her darkened, quiet, very controlled bedroom. It quickly became clear how tremendous a toll this isolation takes on Vivian. But also the entire family. No one here has a normal life including Vivian's older sister, four-year-old Adele. Like every day on the way home from school, she's like, can we stop at the park? And I'm like, we can't stop at the park because Vivian's nurse leaves at five and we have to be home. What, what, what would Adele say about that? She'll say, we can't, when we pass the park, she says, those kids are at the park, but we can't go to the park because Vivian has seizures. And it like kills you, you know? They're so severely affected. New York University neurologist Dr. Oren Davinsky is Vivian's doctor. He's also one of the world's leading epilepsy experts. I think for the families who have given Western medicine a really good chance, and there are a lot of them, and, and Western medicine has failed their children. But the Wilsons now law. Marijuana is illegal federally. So even if you're prescribed it legally in a medical marijuana state, even if it works, even if it is your last hope, you're out of luck. You can't carry it across state lines. Into her mouth. Good job, sweetheart. <laughs> now, they just watch and wait. Over the next 24 hours, Vivian's seizures slowly decrease. Look what I got. How's she doing? She's doing really good. To celebrate a family picnic. <laughs> Outside, filled with activity, balloons with patterns, decorations, and lots of sunlight. Any of these things could have previously induced a seizure. It's an emotional moment for a dad, watching his daughter finally have freedom. She used to be able to do this outside, but not. This is what I'm starting on, yeah. <laughs> 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 Brian believes the marijuana is working. But as you're about to see, Vivian is by no means cured. After an hour in the direct sun, Vivian has a seizure. Brian rushes to inject the potent emergency rescue drugs that will stop the seizures, and then places an oxygen mask in case those same drugs stop Vivian from breathing. She was out in the sun. Yeah. We pushed it. Now with the epilepsy rescue drugs still in her system, you can see for yourself just how powerful they are. She's absolutely doped up right now, though. Like, watch her trying to walk. Watch her trying to do anything. This is difficult to watch. But it does raise this important point. The traditional drugs used to treat epilepsy can be more dangerous than cannabis. Vivian's doctor, epilepsy expert Oren Davinsky. I think one of the reasons marijuana is probably safe is, is related to the cannabidiol 
receptors, which if you have too much stimulation or inhibition of them, they don't shut off breathing or respiration. And that's key. The current potent epilepsy drugs impact many parts of the brain, including the brainstem. They can essentially shut off the body's vital functions if you take too much. Marijuana does not do that. And that's why it's virtually unheard of to have a marijuana overdose. It's one of the reasons so many doctors are starting to change their minds on cannabis. But we are talking about children, young children, and that's going to understandably raise concerns. The latest research shows that some strains of marijuana do have a profound effect on the brains of users under the age of 25. THC in some good studies has been linked to psychiatric disorders, memory disorders in children under age 16. So we'd, even though it's low THC content, it's still THC is more potent than CBD, so there may be long-term side effects. Like any drug in the United States, cannabis would have to go through rigorous testing, research, and approval by the FDA. But after that, things start to get tricky. You see, marijuana also needs the approval of other governmental agencies, like the National Institutes of Health and the Drug Enforcement Administration. This is, of course, difficult, if not impossible. Why? Because in the United States, marijuana is illegal and classified by the government as a Schedule I controlled substance. That means it is considered to be among the most addictive drugs and is not recognized as having any medicinal benefit. And that's why what I'm about to tell you is so ironic. The irony um, is that the federal government has patented one of the, one of the important chemicals in the, uh, in, the, in the plant. The government of the United States yes. has a patent on a substance for medicinal purposes at the same time that they say it has no medicinal purpose. Exactly. From Mayo Clinic researcher Dr. Michael Bostwick is talking about United States patent number 6630507. It's held by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services for the exclusive use of cannabinoids for certain treatments. I was stunned, and it really feels to me like a, you know, sort of a dog in the manger, that the federal government is sitting on this wonderful thing, a uh, wonderful thing, um, and not letting anybody else do anything with it. And when we went to the government to ask about it, none of the agencies involved would comment. We're being handcuffed by the government, preventing us from doing the right trials. In fact, a 2013 search through the U.S. National Library of Medicine revealed 2,000 recent papers on marijuana. But the majority of them explored the harm. Only 6% investigated the benefits. Many believe that's the result of a draconian system gone awry. In fact, 15 more states are now considering legalizing medical marijuana. There are the people in this room who need the immediate gratification of that drug. The ever-growing support of mainstream medicine doesn't hurt. In a recent poll of nearly 2,000 doctors, 76% said they're in favor of using medical marijuana for a needy patient. Now six medical marijuana states have expanded their laws to allow card-carrying medical marijuana patients to bring cannabis medicine into their home state. Yet unfortunately for the Wilsons, New Jersey is not one of them. It will not happen on my watch ever. I am done expanding the medical marijuana program. Literally the same hour he said that, our friend's daughter was taken off a ventilator after a 26-hour seizure. 15 months old. I heard that. And you're like, yeah, that, that could be Vivian, you know? Was this a battle that was won? Clearly we're here now. Vivian does not have what she needs in New Jersey, so in that respect we didn't win, but there's a conversation going on and people are talking about medical marijuana a lot more. How great! And for the Wilsons, other patients and dedicated scientists, all who believe this plant might be able to change lives, Maybe it's our new house! That is a victory. One thing I didn't even take into consideration 
when we were doing this is how fucking hungover I'd be the day after. I feel pretty good. I slept really, really well. My head hurts. My body hurts. I have like a cut on my leg and I have no idea how I got, how I got it. I uh, woke up this morning and remembered that I had parked my car in a towway zone and the car got towed. Anything else you want to add? Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, that's a good one. So I, uh, I, I think no matter what, uh, enjoy everything in moderation and uh, don't get to a point where you're being an idiot.